Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the University of Wisconsin-Madison's winter commencement. I'm Chancellor Rebecca Blank, and I particularly congratulate all of you who made it through the snow this morning. It wasn't quite clear how many people we'd have, but you are brave souls. I want to welcome and congratulate all of the graduates being honored here today. And let's start by giving everyone a round of applause. It's a great day. I want to extend a special welcome to all the family and the friends of our graduates who are here. And I want to take a moment to give thanks and a round of applause to them for their advice, support, and everything they did to make today possible. Thank you. Today's ceremony both celebrates the end of your life as a student here at UW and the beginning of whatever adventure comes next. This is a punctuation point that gives you a chance to pause, to look back at where you've been and to look forward at where you're going. For those of you receiving bachelor's degrees today, the last time you were at a ceremony like this with all of you out there and all of us up here in our academic finery, was convocation at the beginning of your freshman year. Of course, you are strongly encouraged to be at that event, and your attendance here is a little more voluntary. You are also likely wearing shorts at that point, rather than the academic robes you're wearing today, though I'm not going to speculate on what you might be wearing under them. Convocation was a gathering to officially welcome you to a new chapter in your life at the University of Wisconsin. It was an event filled with anticipation and with some degree of uncertainty. It brought together a diverse group of people, each with his or her own story, and ushered them into a common experience as a badger. And it ended with everybody singing varsity. So yes, as you've probably guessed, it was similar in many ways to what we are going to be doing today. Bookends, if you will, to the story of your time on campus at this great university. Now, all of you have come a long way since you were a newcomer to Madison clutching that campus map. You are now an assured graduate in camp and gown, and you're clutching your diploma. During your time here, I hope that you have embraced this university and made it your own. I know some of you have veered off the path you thought you were on when you arrived to new interests, and different classes, and different majors than you ever imagined upon arrival. Others of you, particularly the graduate students, have thrown yourself into something you're passionate about and spent your time here delving deeply into understanding and mastering that subject. All of you have created a place for yourself as you figured out what your Wisconsin experience was going to be. Well done, and you're now ready for your next adventure which is embracing the world as you embraced this campus, yet doing it from a place that has both shaped you and been shaped by you. You have built memories here around the spaces on this campus, and you will carry those memories wherever you go. Ask any Wisconsin alum about his or her time here, and whether they graduated last year or 50 years ago, they will smile and talk about relaxing on the terrace with friends studying in the library, hanging out on Bascom Hill, and they're more than likely to mention a few places on State Street as well. And game day. There is nothing like Camp Randall on a crisp fall Saturday when the campus turns into one big tailgate. Red is the only color to wear, and the whole town comes together to cheer for Bucky and to root for a Badger victory. I see smiles out there both among the grads and among the parents. I can tell that you're going to be great alums, and I can tell there are a number of alums out there in the stands as well. These are common memories, the ones that you share with your fellow students and alumni of all ages, the memories that come with being at the University of Wisconsin. But there are also individual memories that you might share with just a few close friends. Those are just as important and just as memorable. 
the quiet moment in the reading room when that sonnet suddenly made sense. Being introduced to a special person at a corner table in the Rats Keller. The aha moment, sitting in a classroom led by a member of our faculty, literally one of the foremost experts in the world. Or walking down Bascom Hill on a cold winter evening after a final exam with the snow scrunching underfoot and a full moon rising over the Capitol building. That last memory came from an alum who graduated in 1963, 50 years ago, and yet that memory is as clear to him today as that moon was over the Capitol dome 50 years ago. A more recent grad who received a PhD in social welfare remembered his daily bike ride along the lake as his special personal memory a trip that for him symbolized his journey from a liberal arts undergraduate experience to a focused course of graduate studies, all of which has led to a career that he finds incredibly rewarding. The Scottish writer Alexander McCall Smith has written about what he calls the unpublished maps that we use to explain our lives. There are regular maps, he said, that are clear and show us where the Andes are, or in our case, show us game days and Bascom Hill and the Carillon Towers and the other landmarks and moments we all share as members of the UW-Madison community. And then there are the unpublished maps, the maps of our personal memories, our private world, our sacred spaces, the maps that mark, here I was happy. In that place, I left my coat behind after a party, or I cried there once. Both are important. Both serve a purpose, and both figure into what I wish for you as you leave today. First, know that the world is yours for taking. I hope your time at this university has taught you you can take on new things and succeed. So go out, meet new people, experience new things, become part of the social fabric wherever you find yourself. Second, pay attention to the unmapped and sometimes unexpected moments in your life, such as the lakeshore paths that might take you exactly where you expect to go or might lead you someplace surprising, or the ordinary moments when you meet a person who will become a lifelong friend. Cherish these small and all too often unnoticed moments that sometimes lead to big changes. And finally, live the Wisconsin idea. I hope you've heard about the Wisconsin idea throughout your time on campus. The idea that the university should reach out and serve the entire community around it. Because if we've done right by you, you are one embodiment of the Wisconsin idea. You will take what you learned here wherever you go. Your lives will demonstrate to the world the values of a UW education. You are the model of what a UW education means. As you leave here, you will take everything you gained, everything you learned, everything you experienced, both good and bad, the common memories and the individual memories, the regular maps and the personal maps, the shared moments and those personal aha revelations, and use them to make your life and the world a better place. In the words of the great philosopher Harry Potter, every great wizard in the history has started out as nothing more than a student. If they can do it, why not us? And as usual, Harry had it exactly right. As strange and bewildering as this place may have seemed to you when you first arrived, look where you are now. Poised to begin your next adventure, write the next chapter, embrace what life has to offer with an eye open to the unexpected and the chance to make the world a better place. You have what it takes. The piece of paper you will receive today, whether a doctoral degree, a master's professional, or a bachelor's degree, makes that official. So today you join the community of graduates of the University of Wisconsin at Madison. They number almost 400,000 individuals, and they are passionate about this place. You will be singing with all of those previous graduates when we come together at the end of this ceremony and all sing varsity. So thank you for choosing Wisconsin. It has been a privilege having all of you here. And thank you to the parents, families, and friends for sharing you with us
during this important time of your lives. Congratulations to every single one of today's graduates on Wisconsin.